Hello again. I just wanted to do a, a short video about the the restoration job I guess I did on this uh, old axe head. So uh, this is a um, Holtz Brook axe. If you can see the maker's mark there, it's uh, perhaps 50 or more years old. It's a uh, two kilogram or five and six eighths, or I well, can't quite read that, but at least a two, two kilogram axe head, and it's very hefty. So I first found this in the uh, in the shed here on the, in the on the shack, the bushland property we have. Uh, just the axe head, no handle, and it was rusty and covered in uh, bird crap, and all you could tell was that it was an axe head, you couldn't tell anything about it. First, to get all the rust off, I soaked it in a vinegar bath uh, for about two days or so, turning it over once. And the vinegar really loosens off all of the surface rust and the dirt and everything. So then I um, just washed that off with clean water and uh, we used a wire brush a bit to, to brush it off. Then I could see what I had and I could see that the original axe head was a, a kind of rich blue paint on the top piece. Uh, uh, and so that kind of gave me a clue that it was a, a Swedish axe. And then I looked, I could cleaned it off more and I could see the maker's mark. And I looked online and I could tell it was a Holtzbrook axe. So then it was a matter of using a sanding wheel and a, a number of different files to get it back into shape. I used a file to square up the top. It had mushroomed a bit over time and so um, that's nice and square again. Uh, for the blade I could tell when I first cleaned it off it was uh, I had a, showed a grey area so the grey area um, tells me that's where it was hardened so I knew it was a hardened blade so I um, smoothed it out and um, gave it a really sharp edge to it. Uh, as you can tell, it's been used a few times since um, and it's worked really great. It's got a really hefty head, two, two kilograms is very hefty. After cleaning all of that off, I um, just gave it a quick coat of pot belly black, matte black paint, just to protect it against the elements a bit. After that, uh, it was a matter of getting a handle and um, putting a handle on it. So I uh, managed to get a one that was pre-made. I made sure the grain followed all the way down. Um, I fitted it to the head and then I hung the head on it. So when you're hanging an axe head, what you do is you, you place the head on the handle and then you hold the axe upside down as you use a mallet to hit the top and the action of the handle being pushed down into the mass of the axe head pushes the handle into the axe head so the axe head wants to stay where it is because it's got a lot of mass I guess and the handle is pushing down into it after that was done was a matter of um, putting wedges in there and um, putting in the, the metal um, wedge keys to make sure nothing slips. So it's all been treated with linseed oil to preserve it. The handle's been treated with linseed oil. I'll probably give it another sand while I'm here. But yeah, this is a this is a great axe. Really enjoyed restoring it back to its uh, full use again. And uh, here on the property, it's been getting a bit of a workout. Okay, well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.